So uh, this is a problem-solving question dealing with combinations. So they've given us our information and they've posed two different questions to us. Um, so the game of Euchre uh, essentially only uses, assuming you, you call aces the highest card, from nines upwards in a deck of cards. Okay, so have nines, tens, all the face cards, and aces. Uh, how many five-card hands have at least two red cards and at most two red cards? So there's actually two major ways you can solve each of these. Um, there's the very intuitive way, and then there's the counterintuitive way, which actually ends up being faster, and I'll, I'll explain both of those. But the first thing we need to do is essentially figure out how many cards there are. And we know there are four, four. Uh, there's, we have jacks, queens, and kings. So there's four of each of those. And then there's aces, which gives us one, two, three, four, five, six. Six by four is 24 total cards in a game of euchre. Okay, and we need to figure out at least two. So this at least and at most are actually really, really important. Um, so what they're saying here, how many five cards have at least, and oh sorry, and the fact that it's red cards. Um, there's actually 12 red cards and 12 black cards. Right? Black. So um, there's a couple ways we can go about this. We're going to have to solve several combinations. So we can find when there are zero um, so we'll have, let's do the color red. Zero red, we can find. When there's one red, when there's, okay, so that's the counterintuitive way, sorry. And then we can also solve when there's two red, three red, four red, and five red. So the intuitive way to solve this question, when they say at least two, well, we calculate uh, probably having two red cards, three red cards, four red cards, and five red cards. There's a lot of them there, okay? So we do four different options, we get them all together. The counterintuitive way is to actually calculate for zero red cards and one, and then subtract that from the total possibility of combinations. That would be actually a much quicker route. But we'll do this one here first. When we do this, we calculate, we use our combination to calculate two red. We'll also, after we've calculated that combination, we'll have to multiply it by um, the corresponding black cards in that case. So because they're uh, hands of five, that means there's going to be three black cards also in this hand. There's going to be two black cards in this hand. There's going to be one black card in this hand. And there are going to be zero black cards in this hand. So we'll have to multiply by that to find out all the possible combinations. So um, for our first combination, we know how many red cards there are. We know there's a total of 12. So how many different ways can we choose? Um, and actually what I'll do is we'll We'll line them up beside each other. We'll put the 12 up here. How many ways can we choose um, two cards out of 12? And then we need to multiply that by how many different ways can we choose three cards out of 12 for the black? Okay, so that's going to give us a value. We're kind of doing our math backwards here. We're, we're going to the left because of the way I set this up. Okay, which then takes us to the exact same thing for the next two. We follow the exact same pattern. How many ways can we choose three red cards? How many ways can we choose four red cards? How many ways can we choose five red cards? And then with the black, we multiply it. How many ways can we choose two black? How many ways can we choose one black? And how many ways can we choose zero black cards? So each of those are going to give us values. And then we are going to get the products of all of those. So when we multiply them, and we're going to add them all together to get a, a grand total of how many options there are in this case. Okay. So um, I think I can pull out some. No Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's just do this. Hey, uh, I got. I went about doing it. So this is for finding. Actually, we actually only need. Oh, you know what? I did the opposite. I did the counterintuitive one that way. So I'll show you the intuitive way, and then we'll show you the counterintuitive after. Um, so let's take our combinations out. Maybe you guys can help me along here. Um, a lot of the answers are going to be the same. Like twelve two is going to be the same number down there. So let's find our combination. Here we go. How many ways can we find two cards out of 12? Okay, and then how many ways can we find three cards out of 12? So I got both those values, and then I'm going to multiply them. So that's going to be 66. Oh, I'm going to have to clear everything because it, uh, my calculator is not giving me the good info there. Remember what the numbers were? Are they 66 and 2 something? 220. 220? Okay, let's bring it in. Oh, oh, that's a permutation. No wonder. Uh, you said 66 times 220, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so 14,520, 14,520. The very next one is the exact same thing, just in a different order. So that's going to be 14,520. Um, and then we can find the combinations for these two. Function, not permutation, combination. How many ways can we rearrange, uh, can we find 4 out of 12? And how many ways can we get 1 out of 12? That's going to be 495 multiplied by 12 equals 5,940, 5,940. And then finally, um, the combination of five two, or 12 choose 0 is going to be 0, or sorry, 1. So the only combination we really have to calculate is how many ways can we choose 5 out of that? 792. So 792. So now that we have all of these, we need to add all of them together to, to get an answer here. Um, so let's take all our values. We had 14,000 plus that 14,000 plus the 5,000-ish number plus the 792 gives us 35,722. 35,722. Okay. Um, so we did that one way. Let's actually go about calculating this the other way. This one would have been a little faster. 0 red and 1 red, which would have left with 5 black and 4 black cards. Okay, We'll set up our, our combinations here. 0 red cards is asking how many ways can we choose 0 from 12, then multiply it by how many ways can we choose um, 5 out of 12. And we already have these numbers, so it's going to be really easy to do. And then 12 choose 1 multiplied by 12 choose 4. Okay, so those are these two numbers here. Um, this one, 12 choose 0 times 12 choose 5 is 792. 12 choose 1 times 12 choose 4 is 5,940. So let's actually just add up these two values. Uh, two, that gives us 6,732. 732. Now, obviously not the right answer, but this value is important. What I can then do, these are all the options that we're not looking for. Okay, So these are all the ones we did. What I can do now is find out what is the total number of options there are. So how many actual um, different hands can I get in Euchre? Well, that means i got to take my 24 choose 5. Okay, So i got to use all of the cards and figure out what 24 choose 5 would be. Um, 24 choose 5. Let's use our combination. 24 choose 5. 42,504. 42,504. So now we have all of the cards. We're going to subtract by what we don't want. So I'm going to call this don't want. And what we don't want is this 6,732. That's really what we were, we weren't really looking for those numbers. We're looking for the opposite of those. So when I take the total possibilities and subtract by what we don't want, it should give me don't prove me wrong now. It should give me the exact same answer. So subtract that. It gives us 35,722. So in questions like these, it's sometimes helpful to kind of decide, look, if we're looking at at least two, that means I'm looking for two, three, four, five. It'll be easier to calculate for the opposite and subtract that from the total number of options. In this one where it says at most two cards, it's actually much easier to calculate just um, uh, the 0, 1, 2. There's less options that way, so you would just calculate that. Instead of doing 2, 3, 4, and 5, there's more options to calculate and subtract. So you, neither method is wrong, just one style tends to be faster depending on how the question is worded. Okay? I know I didn't solve the second one. We'll leave that kind of to you.